Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on Mankind. It came from the Boiler Room. So we have a new Mankind in the game. He is a modern era trickster. He has uh, multiple zombie links, zombies 20% uh, more health, zombies 2021. 20, Any color move that deals damage will deal 25% more damage, and modern era gems do 5% more damage. He has one gear that it came from the boiler room gear. He is a coach. All the way at 17k, row break gems do 100% more damage, so pretty useful coach in some situations. Um, I do want to say of all the cards that Scopely has ever made, this one uh, is the one that most embodies the spirit of the wrestler. Uh, this card screams mankind uh, nonstop to me when I'm playing it. So no surprise as a Mick Foley mark. I love this card. I think you're going to be surprised at just how good he is. From what I've heard uh, previously recording this, he's not getting near enough uh, respect for how good of a card he is. And I'm going to show you guys right out the gate uh, something that you've probably never seen before in this game. Um, so be ready for it. Uh, we're going to start with the 9 MP Bite. This is a 5 star move. Uh, steal 325,000 health. Then we're going to go to the 5 MP Yellow into the Furnace. Juggernaut Gem. Deal 56k damage and choose one gem to make into a 3 turn Juggernaut Gem that will deal 46, 464,000 damage to the opponent and yourself on every countdown. And then heal you for 928,000 at the end of the countdown. Felling the Tree of Woe, 8 MP Purple, deal 86k damage and choose 4 gems to make into Black Gems. For the Entourage, we're going to run with Woods for 4 more Purple MP to start. Shamrock for 2 more Yellow, you could also use Beth or Kofi, Beth for 2 more Yellow, and uh, Kofi for 4. And uh, Zombie Brian, moves that steal health will steal 31% more, and Zombie Finn, moves that steal health will steal 10% more. So that brings his health steal up to 460k. And... Uh, we're going to run him at no life to start, just uh, the bare minimum to get in, and I will show you guys why. And this is uh, as close to Mankind getting thrown off the cell as you can get in this game. Uh, I would for sure run him Double Fury. And this Juggernaut gem that I've heard of people say is not very good it will have multiple uses uh, for it. It is a solid gem. I'm going to play this differently because I want to get pinned. So I see the 5 match, don't worry. I just don't want to take it. So we're going to put our Juggernaut gem out. We're going to set up a 5 match. Unfortunately, we cascaded. No big deal. We'll eventually get where we want to get. In a perfect world, I'll be able to get two of these yellows down, but I also want to get pinned. Um, so I will take the five match this time. I could also use the health steal, uh, but I don't really want to because I want to show you guys exactly what I'm going for here. So we have two Juggernaut Gems down. And we want to leave Blue Gems for him. Hopefully he can push us into danger here, or into a pin. If not, it might take another turn. Perfect. So notice we're in danger and he has 288,000 health. Now his health goes away. We heal up to 928,000 health because that one gem went off. We're going to take a swipe here. It's going to count down again. And then we're going to take one more swipe here. And on our turn, it's going to go off and heal us again. So we went from zero life to almost full right there. I have went to full health as well when the gems are on the same countdown span. So literally... Mankind can die and come back to life. The ultimate zombie, uh, coolest mechanic ever, right there, with that Juggernaut gem. Uh, 
there's lots of different build sets you could potentially use it in has lots of different uses in my opinion from feud to showdown because it's also dealing damage when it's going off so it doesn't care if you get pinned or not uh, when that goes off it's going to deal damage to the opponent every time and to you so you just keep throwing those out there as much as you can and you can see what the end result will be you don't care about getting pinned and it has massive heals so um, never seen anything like that in this game, so I think it's completely amazing. And uh, we're going to get into a bunch of great movesets for him. I have four more for you guys. Hopefully you like that one. Uh, but a three-star, a four-star, and two additional five-stars. Uh, so let's go to the next one. This is available at three-star. I like this one a lot, too. Uh, and I didn't talk about the strap, so we'll do that now. You may notice I didn't equip a skill plate. Uh, that's because uh, he doesn't really need one. They'll just add to it. Uh, but there's kind of a lot of different ones that could work depending on the movesets you run. So I just decided to go with no skill plate for this preview because I don't think it'll hurt him at all. I do have this purple move damage metal on so I can show you guys some stuff with his finisher. Um, so keep that in mind. You can see about 67% uh, on the gem damage. Again, I have uh, two or perks of plus three and plus two on a match. The plus two on a match you get from offensive feud perks. And in some situations, I'll be running him like you would in Feud, uh, regardless if I would be full or not. So that should cover that. Uh, let's take a look at this three-star moveset. This one's a lot of fun, too. And uh, it's probably a lot faster than you might think. So we're going to leave that countdown gem in. We're going to bring the Choose sub in. 8 MP yellow, Malevolent Claw. Do 7 gems to make into purple submission gems and do 18,000 damage for 5 turns. Remaining gems turn into leech gems of strength 94,000. They are very big. Finisher is a choose move. Deal 119k damage and choose a 6x2 area to swap into yellow gems. 10 MP. That is awesome. Uh, the Entourage, we're going to sub in uh, Kofi for woods for more yellow MP to start. And I'm going to leave Shamrock in, even though I don't need him with tour perks. Uh, this way, you could get that choose ready in Feud. Uh, 4, 6, 7, 8. That would be turn 1 in Feud. Uh, for the trainers, I'm going to try not to use anything too exceedingly rare. Uh, so we're going to put Lacey on there for purple gem damage. You could use uh, Strowman for yellow gem damage. That would be just fine. Um, or any of your other rare rarer more rare trainers and then i'm going to put seth on for the leech gem uh you might think it affects his 90k leech gems it doesn't that would be amazing um sadly do i, I already have it on him on because i put the wrong one on so let's just put lacy on here I'm like why don't i see him yeah, if it works straight up on the leech gems, that would be great. It makes whatever gem the leech gem is on 25% stronger. So if you have a 9k purple, it adds 25% to the purple. Not going to bother healing. Uh, let's get out there and run this moveset. Uh, plates, you could use um, all heart. So that's after a submission. Um, purple gems do 100% more damage, I believe it is. And green gems. Or cheap shot on the finisher. Again, I'm going to go ahead and toss the Juggernaut gem out turn one. It will damage us, uh, but that's no big deal. One three match. We'll load the finisher on our next turn, so we'll get that there. Actually, we're going to go vertical with this and get a little more damage. And then with the sub gem look to make uh squares right in the corner and you'll see why shortly and we're gonna put the other one we'll put the other one right here remember those if they stay are going to turn into uh leech gems of 90k plus damage and we're looking pretty good for them to stay so our gem is going to go off on our turn we're going to take damage but so is taker big chunk and now we're going to hit this finisher on these leech gems that uh, are doing 90k a pop. So that's five of them. Four, yeah, five of them for 450,000 plus 250k on the finisher plus the gem damage. So Taker's at a million life and let's see how low we get him. And we're also going to heal up most of that damage we took from our gem. 
And he's not going to kick out of that. That's almost a million damage, folks. Um, he's really good. And it's really fast. Yeah, even if it is turn two, you sub them and it's fast. Uh, so that is certainly completely viable. And that's not my favorite moveset. Uh, let's take a look at the four star. Double Fury for everything for him would be my preference. So, four-star moveset is we're going to bring in the Felling Tree of Woe, which we have seen already, and then the two black moves, which we haven't seen at all yet. And if you're noticing a trend here, that Mankind takes damage and heals himself and uh, wins, that's because that's what he does. Um, this one, he won't be taking damage, he'll just be healing himself. So, uh, Bile Driver, 6 MP, uh, black, deals 74k damage and make all purple gems into leech gems of strength 70,000. Boiler Room Beatdown, 6 MP black, deals 69k damage and make 6 random gems into purple gems. For the Entourage, we're going to switch it up completely, um, well, kind of completely, with the, with the trainers, not the coaches. We're going to bring in Bray for more black MP. That'll get our uh, black started turn one. And then uh, Daniel Bryan to help negate the randomness. And we're going to make 10 random gems into purple. We're going to leave Seth on there and Lacey for since we're making so many purples, buffing that purple gem damage. And let's run this one. Um, <clears throat> I would run this one with two words for your blue bomber to create mass destruction, because you're popping off a bunch of moves. Uh, if you don't pin, you can cycle through this extremely well. There is an element of randomness, so there is that. Now, on your board, you want to kind of look. If you have a ton of purples, you can hit the leech gem move first. Uh, I'm going to say I'm just going to hit the random purples first. We'll see how that works out. That actually worked out really well. It gave me a five match um, right here. And there's a bunch of other stuff we can do with the choose move. And we're going to turn all of those purples into leeches. Uh, I can tell you practicing this, I hit over a million a few times when the, when the board cooperated. And it let me do some trickery. So let's see how we want to do this. Good job. Shadows into here. I think maybe just taking the five match is going to be my best bet, actually. So let's get a little bit greedy here and see if we cannot force a pin. And then let's take this five match. Not the hardest I've hit, but still not bad. 400k damage on a 5 match. He may not be able to kick out of that. He can't. So, that moveset's pretty good too. Like I said, I've hit over a million a few times when it worked out where I could choose into uh, making a 5 match or some really good row breaks and stuff. Uh, also, if you have rare trainers like Hogan, you could throw Hogan on there. You're going to generate one more, choose one more. Um, the, I would use him instead of Seth, for example. And then two words for your blue bomber for mass destruction. Blowing up the board into those leech gems would be pretty fantastic. Um, next two movesets are both five stars, and we still have the favorite one coming up. This one is basically a variation of what you just saw. Um... It is 5-star because we're bringing the Bite in. And we're just trading that one out for the Leech Gems. So instead of the Leech Gems, we're going to use the Health Steal. That steals 329,000, which we've already seen, but I don't think I used it in that first set at all. So now you'll get to see it in action. 9 MP Purple, steal up to 325,000 health. We're going to just swap out these guys for the Health Steal Trainers. So we're going to bring in Zombie Brian and Zombie Balor. For 41% more health steal total combined.
Brings our health steal up to almost 460k. And let's see how this one looks. Again, I would run this double fury. Uh, cheap shot or head games, I think, on this one. It's probably how I would run it. Um, you could also potentially still keep the two words for you, a blue bomber on there. Choose into those going for a pin. Uh, there's a lot, just a lot you can do. Um, we're going to make 10 randoms into purple. In a perfect world, we don't force a pin and can cycle back and forth. This is, however, not a perfect world. But we don't care about damage because we're going to heal for a bunch. It's not a, it's a non-factor. Gonna put a five match here. And then we are gonna do that. Let's go ahead and hit the purple now. Very nice. Purples are full. He's dead next turn. Uh, we're going to take some damage, but it's not going to matter. Because we're just going to health steal it all back. Take your do and take your things. Okay. Let's steal that health back. And we should have enough to end the match now. With a decent choose here. Because it does pretty good damage itself. You can see that wiped the last of his life out, I believe. Oops. We'll do a row break here. Because the purple moves hit really hard. Um... So it goes through it pretty quick. So another match where we end full life. And now it's time to get to what I think is going to be uh, my favorite moveset. Um, it's a variation of what we just saw uh, for the three-star moveset. But instead of the Juggernaut gem, we're going to use the sub. Um, or we're going to use the bite, rather. We're going to use the sub, the bite, and the finisher. So we've seen all these moves. Uh, we're just going to put them together in one awesome combination. And again, this would be ready right now for me without using two MP trainers. But in Feud, you will need two MP trainers, so I'm going to run both of them. So you can see what it would look like in Feud. So we're just gonna run Shamrock and Kofi. Again, you could be Beth. It could, or sorry, yeah, Shamrock and Kofi. It could also be Shamrock or Beth instead of Shamrock, rather. And that'll get the sub turn one, and we're buffing the health steal. And um, it this can hit extremely hard, extremely hard. Same principle, we're going to want to square up on the corners of the edge our leech gems and get them to survive. We need a match. So we're going to take those four. We're going to put two here. Actually, we're going to go here. And then, actually, we're not. Hold on. I lied. We're going to do it. This way. 
three, four. Yeah. No. My bad. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to do that. Better. And you could use all heart or cheap shot on this. Unfortunately, you got a row break, so I lost two of my gems. We would have had five. Uh, instead, we have three. But then we're going to use the health steal and drain a bunch of life. And then we're going to use the finisher to connect with those leech gems. And do a bunch more damage. 700,000 right there. And we lost two of our gems or it would have been 900,000. That's my favorite moveset. I'm going to run it again just so you guys can see um, that it, that isn't a particularly great match that we just played. It usually works as good or better than that. Um, All Heart would buff the purple gem damage. Cheap Shot would make the pin potentially easier. Um, you, there's a lot of different ways you could roll with it. Definitely, again, Double Fury. Uh, he's actually, this moveset plays very similar to um, Demon Balor's Leech Gems. And at 5 star gold, the sub gets one more choose. And you are uh, choosing, that means you're choosing an extra Leech Gem. And the finisher goes to 2 by 7 area. So it's even bigger. So you're going to cover the whole board. Okay. Um, this... So, the, so once in a while you run into this where it makes a little bit of a mess on your board uh, with what you want to do. And that's just life, right? So it is what it is. I think we'll take this and make a row break out of it. And then we'll just play with these here. And just see what happens. See if I can get... He'll probably take the purple and match it there. But let's see if we can... Maybe we'll get lucky and keep them all. We got four of them. So I didn't get too greedy. So at least you'll see a bigger pin here. Little baby cascade. 787,000 on that one. And it recycles into a sub. Big cascade. Might get a chance to run it again. Okay. Or and uh, let's do this. Boy, I'd love to keep six because that's six hundred thousand damage almost right there. Five hundred forty thousand with those if they stay. A little bit worried about all these greens going off, covering my subs. So that would be five leech gems, 90k apiece, 450,000. We're going to hit the health steal, be full life. 450 plus the 257. It's, it would have been, it would have been a big one. So really guys, um, I can't see not loving this card. I realize I'm a, a Mick Foley mark and probably biased. 
but he's super fun. So many options, so much utility. Uh, name another card you can go into a match dead and come out full life. I know I can't. Um, so this is a card I absolutely want. I am not going to put him on any kind of tier list and say he's the best or top three or top five. I'm just going to let the matches speak for themselves and say I really want this card. So hopefully you guys enjoy this preview. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. And thank you to everyone that supports me. I appreciate you all. Good luck.